Why in the fucking world are we still at a point in our nation's history of actually having a debate over marriage equality? Why does this debate exist? I mean, after all, don't you think it seems a little arbitrary for straight people to tell gay people what they need to do in the bedroom and how, or rather, ignoring what they do in the bedroom or dismissing it as something that the devil would do and shouldn't be, I don't know, idolized and by denying these very same people the same rights they have on that basis alone. Now, I understand that to some straight people who are against, you know, gay marriage as it's called, I can understand where you're coming from, being that you're obviously not affected by such a negative ruling, but that's kind of the point here. Why is it that you feel it's appropriate to tell other people how to live their lives or dictate how other people live their lives when your life has nothing to do with that lifestyle. Now, the reason why I bring this up in this particular light is because an Oregon judge not too long ago basically deemed it unconstitutional to ban gay marriage or marriage between people of the same sex. I don't like the term gay marriage as an aside. I prefer the term marriage quality because, I mean, just because two gay people are getting married doesn't make marriage gay. See what I mean? So, with that being said, these um, very frantic internet users, of course, who are responding to this ruling, basically stated that this is why we shouldn't promote activist judges. Um, and I have a problem with this terminology. I mean, after all, how does it make you an activist judge by basically saying that two people who, by the way, getting married doesn't affect you in any shape or form, other than, you know give your state more tax dollars to use, essentially. But he didn't even do that. He just basically said that it was unconstitutional to deem it illegal, which it should be. It's a fucking human rights violation. But anyways, uh, th these, pe these people feel the need to denigrate and put down these, these uh, judges or, 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 or prosecutors or even supporters of things like marriage equality or same-sex marriage, even fucking marriage unions, for fuck's sake. I mean, I understand that historically speaking, marriage has been been between a man and a woman in Christianity, even though in parts of Christianity back when it was really old, you know, just starting back up in the days of the Roman Empire, they still condoned same-sex marriages because it was so commonplace back then. But that's not even really the point because within the, really for the entire a history of our country, it's always been typically between a man and a woman because we've always been a fairly homophobic society because uh, we're a macho society and macho men feel gay when other gay men are around them. So that's kind of, that's where that, dis, that, that disconcerting um, feelings come from, you know, because they don't want to be gay because they're big, strong men. There's nothing wrong with being gay, obviously, and there's nothing wrong with two gay people loving each other, obviously, but that's kind of the problem here, isn't it? Because it is so fucking obvious, and there's still people out there who say that it's not. There's people out there that say that it's, that it's wrong, that the devil does it. I mean, there's people, first and foremost, that still believe in the devil, unfortunately, and they use that as justification for their own bigoted and hateful opinions that affect policy. And these people aren't just voters. These people aren't just businessmen who donate. These people are actual congressmen, actual senators. You have a congressman that just recently said, that just recently compared um, people calling those who are not for marriage equality bigots. He compared those people, so people like myself essentially, to Nazis, saying that the, the Nazis somehow are the same in their method of persecuting the Jews as people calling bigoted anti-gay assholes assholes. It's the same. Somehow. That has already been discussed, you know, ad infinitum, honestly, and I don't really want to get into things other people have talked about a lot. Again, my main problem is the fact that marriage equality is still an open debate on the table. Now, I get and respect how the Constitution works and how, you know, putting in certain amendments to protect the rights of people can be kind of a hassle. I mean, shit, it took like, you know, almost almost 200 years to do it for black people. So, and I mean, shit, on you comparatively, like 150 years as well, uh, almost for, for women to be able to vote. I get it. It can be a slow and arduous process at times, but... We, we live in a modern era. We live in the 21st century. We live in a time period that the Constitution simply can't account for, can't predict. 
how the hell is the Constitution supposed to know what we're supposed to do with the internet, for example, since an idea like that couldn't even be fathomed back then? Honestly, looking at how we handle marriage equality now, how we handle initiating this legislation and these laws, I think it's really arbitrary. The president has the ability to right now sign an executive order making marriage for all people, regardless of gender or what have you, legal. And he doesn't. And the reason why he doesn't is because, he, one, he doesn't want to infuriate potential voters um, of, his, of, of his own uh, party uh, members. He, he wants to be able to be a good face of the de Democratic Party to kind of be that one guy that can reach across the aisle, and I get that. But the kind of ironic thing here is that he ends up coming off as someone who doesn't care or someone who doesn't act strong enough which I'm sure we've heard before, but in this particular social issue, it's obviously a human rights violation to say that gay marriage or marriage between people of the same sex is illegal or unconstitutional or immoral or amoral or anything related to that whatsoever, even a little bit. Now, if you're watching this video and you're just sitting there fuming, disagreeing with what I'm saying, you can go fuck yourself. Because I don't give a damn if the Constitution is your holy grail. If the Constitution, for even a semblance of a modicum of a second, goes against any human rights uh, or violates any sort of human right whatsoever, even if it is only a little bit that only seems insignificant to you, it's a piece of shit paper. It's a paper that isn't serving the job it is intended to serve, which is to make sure that the betterment of humanity happens in the United States and obviously protect, protect and guarantee rights for all of its citizens. What is the point of a document that is allegedly evolving if it can't even evolve fast enough within, a, what, a 20-year period that this has been a real debate to just stop being a shithole, to stop sucking you, th this, is, this is kind of one of those things where it really shows how sick and depraved our system is. We create these squabbles amongst the population so that you really neglect the main true problems of, of the whole world that our country is very much affected by, namely income inequality and all of the health problems that come along with that. But we have these stupid social squabbles about whether or not gay marriage or smoking pot or what have you is legal or right or moral. And here's the thing, to kind of just break it down a little bit for you here. If I want to have gay-ass butt sex with five different men, one of whom I'm married to, while smoking weed and shooting up heroin, how is it affecting you? Now, let me ask you this. If I force you to watch... How is it affecting you? Now, the, for the third question, am I forcing you to watch? And how is that affecting you? Now, is the real problem here that you just cannot accept that people can do things unlike you? Yeah, people like to do drugs, sometimes to the point of death. Yes, people like to have gay butt sex. And they can even do scissoring sex too. What about that makes you uncomfortable? What about that makes you say no? Is it because deep down inside those are the same feelings you have? Or is it because you hate these people? Because you can't use the God reason anymore. Again, this is the 21st century. Reading something out of a book and saying that it's fact doesn't make it so. Just because the book claims to be the word of God doesn't mean it is. Once you remove God and remove religion from the equation, which, by the way, is the primary reason that these people are against gay marriage, gay sex, so forth. What is your reason then? What justification do you have then? Because it's already been proven that it doesn't ruin the, the minds of children. It's already been proven that it doesn't make people more gay. It's already been proven that, ironically, despite the hate mongering, that these people who are or like children, for example, that are raised in families that, uh, ha or that have same-sex parents end up being more well-balanced than people who were raised in a family like my own, which didn't have any gay people as the, you know, heads of the family. What justification, once considering all of the facts, do you have? The clear and simple answer here 
if you're fumbling for words, viewer who I'm actually asking this to, is you don't have an answer. You have no justification whatsoever. You are only blinded by hate. Whether or not that hate comes from your own sense of insecurity because you are a fucking gay person is a t totally typical reason, or you're just a piece of shit, which is another typical reason. Or you're gonna profit off of it, which I guess is the most justified of the reason. I mean, honestly, if you came out and just said, hey, you know what? I make millions of dollars every single year on gay hate. If I go against what I've been saying for years, I'm going to start losing money, and that affects my life and my livelihood. Okay, well, hey, at least you're being honest at that point, right? At least you're saying, hey, you don't really hate gay people. You just don't care about them more than making money. Whatever. That's kind of a thing that we deal with in this system. But here's the thing. What you do, this is for all three types of people that I just mentioned. What you do affects people's lives. It makes people commit suicide. It makes people hate themselves. It makes people try to not be who they are, which can lead to suicide as well. Well, the first two, I guess. And the crazy part about it is that if you were to just have the same opinion, but change how you, re how you act on it, basically saying, hey, you know what? I don't like gay people, but they can get married. They can do what they want over there, away from me. Fine. I, I mean, I'm not the gayest person on the planet. I don't really find it attractive watching two dudes have sex. It doesn't particularly bother me. But I mean, it, it's not like I wake up in the morning going, I want to watch two guys have sex. Same thing with girls, really. I, I just, I like the whole vaginal penetration thing. That's kind of the tits. But here's the thing. I, I don't use that uh, mild, un in my, and it's mild, mild uncomfort uh, uncomfortability to justify hating these people. Just because they do something I don't like, it doesn't mean I hate them. I mean, it's for the same thing that like, you know, you may be a religious asshole. You, you can preach about God all the time even. If you're too preachy, I tend to be uncomfortable around that. But it doesn't mean I hate you for it. It just means I hate what you're saying. If you are an asshole because of it, then yeah, I might hate you. But even that hate is flippant and not very much molded in anything substantial. It's just a general disdain, if anything else. A strong general disdain, which is why I'd use the term hate loosely. But here's the thing. I wouldn't want to make a law saying it's against the law for you to preach your bullshit. Because then I wouldn't be able to preach my bullshit. It's, it's, it, it just comes down to being fair. If I'm allowed to have sex and get married to whoever I please just because they're a woman, then other people should be allowed to have sex and get married to who they want to get married to if that person happens to be the person they have sex with because they want to. And that's what it should be about. It shouldn't be about your feelings and how they're hurt by them getting married. Who gives a shit if your stupid kids are uncomfortable about it? They're only uncomfortable about it because you're uncomfortable about it. If you sat them down and actually answered their questions honestly, instead of reading your fucking Bible, your head so far up your ass you can barely see the letters in the dim light, then maybe it would be a little bit easier for them. But it's not easy for them because of you. We live in a nation that is fueled by hatred. We live in a nation that thrives on conflict. We need to love each other more. We need to care about each other more. We need to be more empathetic toward the needs of our fellow man and our fellow woman and our fellow in between more. Just because someone is different doesn't mean they are less. It just means they're different. How much of the percentage of the DNA genome do you think dictates your consciousness, your skin tone, your hair, your height, your weight or predisposition, your predisposition toward homosexual or non-homosexual behaviors, your preferences, everything that makes you, you? What percentage of the genome do you think that is? It's less than a percent. That means that over 99% of the DNA genome between every human being on the planet is exactly the same. And that less of a percent is what makes every single one of us different and unique. It makes you think that we're not so different after all, now are we? And of course, I mean, if science doesn't compel you to not be an asshole, then 
maybe meeting a person that you allegedly hate and getting to know them, you might find that you actually like some of these people and that you can accept what they want to do as a human being to another. So on that note, I, uh, I'm going to have to end this. I could go on for far much longer than I already have. I want to thank you so much for watching up until this point of the video. If you like it, please do so. If you dislike it, please do so. And I would like to know why as well. And, of course, leave a comment if you have anything else to say. Um, my name is Axel. Peace.